You have these characters, you've got Sissy and you've got Brandon, and both of them have come from a history that is never explained in the script, but <clears throat> um, we've always thought that, that there was something in their childhood that has happened, and it, that both of their ways are very different in terms of dealing with that. She's a very explosive character, and he's essentially imploding. He is sort of, you know, seeking these sort of sexual encounters and following through with them as a way to sort of numb away any sort of emotional content. I think it's something that's pretty relevant today, this idea of a sort of need for immediate sort of satisfaction or immediate sort of highs. Uh, and, uh, and then, of course, what happens then directly after that is this feeling of a sort of ultimate shame and uh, uh, self-loathing. And, um, and then sort of, you know, the cycle then starts to sort of perpetuate it itself. You know, you go through the shame element of it, and then to get rid of the shame, then you go out and tie one on again or sort of, you know, um, push it further still, and then you have to deal with double the shame when you sort of wake up the next morning. You're the man. Your pitch, amazing, amazing. Yeah. To nailing it. Success. To nailing it. Yes. How'd it go last night? Good night. Uh-huh. Let's do it again tonight. And yeah, my sister's playing downtown somewhere. I stay for a few days. Where's the angry? That's my boss. Hey. Do you want to play? Your hard drive is filthy. I mean, it is dirty. Slowly. I'm trying to help you. How are you helping me, huh? You come in here, and you're a weight on me. You're a burden. You want to get out of here? I could take you somewhere. We're family. We're meant to look after each other. Hey, Romeo. Oh. Brandon, please, will you pick up the phone? There's a huge amount of trust there between myself and Steve, and, and so therefore you go the extra lengths and you hopefully, you know, you sort of, uh, you give him what, what, what he deserves to sort of get, really. There is no place to hide in this whole script. I guess that's what's kind of really been the sort of toughest thing. There's no part where I can go, okay, I can take it easy here, you know, because every sort of, he's sort of, sort of squeezes every little sort of drop out of you. Um, so it's quite sort of challenging and tiring, but ultimately and hopefully rewarding, you know.